I'm going to go. Hello there and welcome to the CEV Champions League semi-final. I'm going to go for it now. Cheers, bro. Thank you. Well, hello and welcome to the CEV Champions League semi-final second leg here in the centre of Italy, Perugia. Up against the two-time winners, Zaxa, for a place in the final in Turin in just over six weeks or so's time. It won't get any bigger than this or any more exciting. Louis Lett with you in the commentary box for another big evening of Champions League Volleyball. Here with uh, Coach Anastasi, what does uh, this team has to do this evening for uh, regain uh, the match? and uh, take home the victory. I, I have simple reply, that means we have to play better than them. Of course, it's not so easy, but uh, no, for sure, uh, we have to play with high level to every element of the, of the game. You know? uh, we can't analyze only service reception, we have to have a good spike, a good defense, good block, you know, it's normally. In this kind of match, uh, we need uh, to play good volleyball, like we show a lot of time this season. Coach, uh, great game uh, in Poland uh, on the first game. So, here in Perugia, what your team has to do for uh, taking back the victory and pass at the final? Yeah, first game is history. Today is a different game and... Uh, and uh, we just in the heat of the game we have to remember the things that we have prepared and just one rally one rally one rally nothing else yeah we'll be a great game incredible to hear from two outstanding coaches in the build-up for this one welcome to the pristine perugia here in central italy the Pala Barton, the host of another incredible tale. Maybe there's a few twists in this tale this evening. It's the 64th edition of the Champions League. And this could be one that we will remember for some, some time. Well, the second leg of the CV Champions League has come to a head. A tremendous evening of Champions League volleyball. Nine-time Polish champions. Zaxa up against Sir Sokoma Monini Perugia in Perugia's backyard. Perugia know that they need a 3-0 or a 3-1 to force a golden set this evening. It's a huge ask for them after being outplayed by Zaxa yesterday. Well, talking of yesterday, maybe a little bit prematurely there, Yashemski Vigel qualified for their first ever Champions League final. They made history. Halkback Ankara won 3-2 on the evening and inflicted a first defeat for Yashemski in their Champions League campaign. This evening, though, all about Zaxa who travel very well, but they'll have their work cut out making noise this evening against Perugia, the champions of Italy in 2018, and the current World Club champions as well. 
Tonight will be that volleyballing tale. Will it be a fairy tale for Zaxa looking for three in a row? Perugia are looking just to make their second final. Their first being in 2017. There's going to be so many stories. So we have a look at the main man on the left side, the left-hander, Alexander Slivka, but Simone Gianelli. He's won almost uh, everything already in still as what a young career, but he would love to add this prestigious title to his resume. Lucas Kazmarak, the top scorer in the CV Champions League this season, already over 200 points in this competition, 214 to be exact. And the man at the very back of your picture, Camille Semenyo, playing against the side that he transferred from last summer. Interestingly enough, was on the bench last week, came off the bench and was blocked on match point down. It was only set five balls and he played an awful lot of the game, Semenyuk. But Kazmarak and co certainly had the better of the opening leg. But this is different. They are now in the lion's den. Wilfredo Leon will have to be at his very best. A four-time winner with Zenit Kazan. Hasn't won the Champions League having transferred from Kazan. Was part of the Kazan side that actually beat Perugia when Perugia were last in a Champions League final. The warm-up not far away from being finished. Camille Rishlicki started uh, last week, but only scored 13% of his spikes. The big question will be whether that man there, Jesus Herrera, takes his place on the right side. He actually started in the team at the weekend that lost to Milano. As that game goes to a fifth and final match to see who will progress through the playoffs in Italy. Zaxa won at the weekend against the team that they may face. Yashemski, Wengel in the final of the Champions League. It would be a first all Polish affair. That would be just an absolute privilege. Yes, the final would be in Turin. Not ideal for Italian fans, but it would be a history-making final all the same. Well, Zaxa have three of the top scorers in the Champions League, in Kazmarek, Bartosz Bednors, who was absolutely exemplary in that first leg victory. And Alexander Slivka. But there will be some selection questions for Anastasi this evening. That is for sure. Will he go with the same side that started last week? It doesn't look like it looking at his previous selection at the weekend against Milano. Tuomas Samalevo, the only Finnish player to win the Champions League, although a second one could be soon with uh, Termi Everporti being excellent last night for Yashemski. Anastasi gives the camera a kiss. Will it be Herrera? Will it be Rich Licky? There are the two opposites that give quite the different dynamic. The Luxembourg is actually on the right side. Zaxa looking for three straight Champions League finals. There was Italian delight yesterday with Modena winning the CUV Cup, winning four straight sets against Nac Rossellaire. That was sensational. Perugia need a similar performance this evening. They really need to turn the tide. The beautiful thing for them is that they're at home this evening. If you remember last year, Trentino knocked Perugia out in the golden set at the semi-final stage. It was Trentino that felt that pain in the last round as Zaxa did it to them. But this year for Perugia, six straight wins in the Champions League. Zirat 
Nibuana, SWD Power Volleys Duran before beating a spirited Berlin in the quarterfinals. For Zaxa, if they do win it this year, they've certainly done it the long and the hard way. Drawing Trentino in the pool stages, not ideal for either side, but it meant a second place to Zaxa as they lost twice in that pool, meaning they had to qualify against Saverci, who finished second in the Polish league, winning over two legs. Then they had to take back to the court against Trentino, winning the golden set in the quarters. David Smith is having an outstanding competition. 22 serves. We'll talk about his middle work in a moment, but Smith serving in the first leg certainly stoked the fire for Zaxa and their performance. Sebastian Sole was off the bench last week. One of the selection problems for Anastasi Ocinyanush. The replacement for Benjamin Toniuti, Yashemsky's main guy when it comes to setting now. Toniuti won the Champions League two years ago with Zaxa and could be taking Zaxa on in the final this year. Expecting upwards to 3,000 this evening. There is Kamel Semenyuk up against his former side. Semenyuk, seven years at Zaxa. Oleg Plotnitsky, another selection problem this evening. Does he start on the outside? Semenyuk, Leon and Plotnitsky makes it very, very nice selection problems for Anastasi, but Gianelli should start, well, will start, you'd think. Jesus Herrera, will he start in the opposite, or will it be Camille Richlicki? Wilfredo Leon, you would think the four-time winner will start on the outside, but will it be with Semenyuk or the Ukrainian international Oleg Plotnitsky? That would be the question. Well, for Zaxa, Lukas Kazmarek playing on the opposite. So effective all of the time. Bartosz Bednoz, 22 points in that first leg. Seems to give the power on the wing needed to play alongside Alexander Slivka. David Smith and Dmitry Pachiski should start in the middle once more. Lukas Kazmarek, the top scorer in the Champions League, a two-time winner of the Champions League. Wilfredo Leon, a four-time winner of the Champions League. Polish international, remember, playing against the Polish Champions League winners from last year and the Polish League winners from last year as they get ready to play off. A huge evening at the Palabaton. Perugia versus Zaxa for a place in the Champions League final. It's coming our way very, very shortly. Well, for Zaxa, the away team, they just need to win this evening or lose by more than they won by last week. For Perugia, they need to win 3-0 or 3-1 to send us to a golden set. Undefeated during the whole league season. Defeats have started to creep in against Milano in the playoffs and against Zaxa last week. They need to turn the table around here this evening. 11 of the Zaxa squad retained from last year. 
Six of the squads have been part of the last two Champions League winning campaigns. Tomas Samaleva looking to be the third coach in three years to win the Champions League with Zaxa. Hugs all round, they'll be tough for Semenyuk again to play against his former side and former fans. Yuraj Mokri on the stand for this one, as it will be. Zaxa announced first, Lukas Kazmarek, Marcin Janusz, big hugs as Bartosz Bednoz, superb last week, as was Slifka. Didn't score as many points, but incredible in the past in the block. David Smith, outstanding. Pajiski, Ukrainian Natasha gets stuck. We haven't talked about Eric Stroji. One of the best liberos of the past 10 years in the volleyballing world. Brings so much consistency. That's the Zaxa side looking to make three finals in a row. We'll have a look at the confirmation. It's exactly the same as last week. Pajitski and Smith won the middle battle. Janusz and Kazmarek play very, very quickly. Slivka, the left-hander, Bartosz Bednos will start on the wing. Well, selection questions for Anastasi before this game, having seen last week not going to plan. And let's see who he brings out. It's very dark, very difficult to see who's actually starting here this evening. Would you expect to see Gianelli, Leon? The question was all about who starts on the opposite. As we have a look at the team, Leon starts with Camille Semenyuk. Big evening for him, takes over Plotnitsky's place. Flavio Russo in the middle, Gianelli and Rich Dickey gets the nod in front of Herrera. Semenyuk, huge evening for him against his former side, who he's won the past two Champions Leagues playing for. Tomas Samalevu, former coach of uh, Russia, and there's a man who's seen absolutely everything. Anastasi, coached in Poland with Bashvat for alongside, and every time he was in Poland, Zaxa actually won the league every single year. So if there's somebody who knows Zaxa, it would be that gentleman there. Schlicki substituted after the opening set in Poland. Leon was served short a lot of that evening. Will it be something that Zaxa choose to do again? Smith was phenomenal, as was Paszczynski. The pass will have to be there again for Zaxa this evening if they want to continue running the middle so effectively. Gianelli. Well, we can talk about Gianelli and his accomplishments for a long, long time. The Italian general and Semenyuk starting on the outside. The big talking point replacing Plotnitsky this evening. Although he was only set five balls and he could play a large proportion of that opening leg match. Scored at 60% efficiency as well. The Zaxa fans are here, matching Perugia for noise. Hold on tight, the second leg of this CV Champions League semi finals underway. Alexander Slivka serving into the net. Well, Flavio Galberto serving. Played for Zaverci. Eight points 
in the previous game. It's uh, Smith who has to turn in to the setter, sweeping up at position six. Smenyuk running down the pipe, and he gets set. The first ball, really, this evening from Gianelli, which is very different to what we witnessed in the first leg. High ball from Smith. Kazmarek, uh, continuation play, and that's a tip. Smart tip, but Soji sees it well. Eleven points last week, 83% efficiency for Smith, but the 22 serves made him a real thorn in the side of Perugia. And he's a thorn in the side again already. And it's Bartosz Bednoz teaming up in the block with Smith's serve. Perfect start for Zaxa. Ruchlicki shut down already against the team who had his number last week. Leon served short inside again, trying to take him out of the pipe. The block is working once again for Zaxa. It's an absolutely dream start for them. A block from Bednorz backed up with one through the middle from Pashitsky. And Leon targeted once more, whose passing stats not quite where they should have been last week. Three up in the block, but that's what Leon does all the time. Had a horrific injury earlier on in the season, hitting a pipe in the Italian Super Cup final, but it's recovered really well, Leon. Throughout and finds a way through past Pajitski. Leon is cooking, Perugia a scoring. Wichlicki, 16 points against Berlin away, and 18 in the home type. Pajitski, and the middle from Zaxa working really nicely early on. Running fast and on an angle, speeds the arm up incredibly well. Kazmarek part of the Polish side that took a second in the World Championships and a third in the European Champs. But Slivka and Kazmarek both missing their opening serves. Wilfredo Leon. One of the best, if not the best of this generation. Still only 29 years old. Big split from left to right. Kazmarek stays incredibly high. Good setting from Janusz. Slivica just passes it to three and a half and the width on the set puts pressure on the middle blocker moving laterally. Bartosz Bednoz serving for the first time in this game. 2-0-1 in height, but last week was incredibly smart doing exactly what Semenyuk has done there, staying high and aggressive off the hands. Not doing anything too flash, but just making wise decisions there. Semenyuk served to the inside powerfully, two up in the block. He knows that, so he decides to stay high off the inside hand of Pajiski. First point of the evening for the lethal left hand of Slivka. Krasinski, another huge server of the ball. Leon, DIY! Leon, heating up this evening already. Playing at exactly the level Perugia need him to be. Gianelli spots it early. Second tempo over the top of the middle. Losing the block of Smith. The only player to win the MVP at the World Championships and the World Club Championships, Gianelli. The World Club Champions... 
draw level with a Slivka error that's wide. It's great width on the set from Janusz, but just missing out. Wants it a little bit higher maybe there, Slivka. Played for Trentino for so long, Gianelli, before surprising the world and moving to Perugia in 2021 for the 2022 season. Now they're serving and blocking. Gianelli with a rocket. Bednorz with a good pass. That quick play for Kashmarek shut down by the block. Flavio getting across incredibly well. Never won the Champions League. Two silvers and a bronze to his name. Perugia, after a slow start, have got pressure in abundance behind the service line. Good defence from Leon, just defending quite high up the court to try and take away the angles of Smith. And you have to say, at the same time, Zaxa are still passing fairly well. They passed sensationally well last week. Leon targeted. Leon on the pipe again. That's twice that Gianelli has run Leon when Leon has passed through the pipe. Exactly the same play. Kazmarek trying to pinch in and help, but the split is there and the seam is open. Slivka served to position one. Middles used, but Perugia defiant defensively. Looking for the hands. Originally, but no touch this time. Still no point for the right sider so far. High ball to the opposite. Certainly no touch off David Smith. Slivka, the MVP in the Champions League in 2021. Serves to the sideline of Leon to the middle. Smith is there, but it's a fast arm. And once again, Gianelli really feeding the middle, whether it's through the pipe or on the wider one. Flavio, flamboyant once again. Powerful play, but smart from Gianelli. And smart from Yanush using the middle. The more that the setters use the middle early on in the set, the more that they can start to go to the outsides and more chance of them losing the middle blocker and opening up splits and seams. Smith gives everything the AOK. -okay. Olympic bronze medalist David Smith. 56% uh, efficiency attacking. Had uh, 23 serves, Trentino at home. So his serving proving vital, not just in the previous leg, but the whole way through this campaign. Mill, Rizlicki, 26 years old. Bartosz Bednoz off of Gianelli. And while well, I was playing in China, Bartosz Bednoz earlier on this season. And Zaxa throughout the group stages maybe lacked a little bit of the physicality that Semenyuk left behind and Bednos just seems to have molded into that role perfectly throughout the second half of the season. Block out this time for Leon. He's brought his A game through the pipe and now through the left side. But his pass is stronger this week than last week. Came to Perugia to win this trophy for them. Serves in from Leon Slivka. You have to say, the challenge this evening that both passing units have with the service pressure on them the whole night, Slivka does a great job of just putting arms on the ball and getting it towards Janusz. Bednorz puts the point away. 
Good start for him this evening. Came second with uh, Shanghai. Played alongside three-time Champions League winner Osmane won Torreira. There's a block in the game. The crowd have been silenced. Zaxa. After Leon, every single ball at the moment. The out-of-system pass means that three blockers get across. Semenya tries to get one off of Yadush, but Yamush is fixed and penetrating nicely. Netband ace. Unfortunate for Perugia. Perfect timing for Zaxa after the block. And there's a little bit of breathing space. Bednosh. Actually took a bronze with Zenit in 2021. Played in the same team as Engerpeth, uh, Volkov, Bukko, and he's in very good company. But there's another point going the way of Zaxa here. And this is a run against Perugia at the worst possible time for them. They worked hard for a two-point lead, but this run of serves from Bartosz Bednosh Perfect, Gianelli not quite finding the rhythm with Russo. Russo starting in the middle again this week, played every set in the World Championship final, went in for Galassi. Bednoz currently serving the socks off of the ball. Zaxa leading by three. Another big one, but the timeout does its job just to upset the rhythm of Bednoz, or the man they call Bedney. Here's Russo. Didn't miss an attack last week. Question is, can they get him in the game a little bit more often with improved passing for Russo? Certainly his serve made a big difference there. Rocking the passing unit of Bednoz. Ball's maybe a little bit inside there for Slivka. Perfect passing from the American libero. Opens up the whole net for Janusz, who finds Przezyski. Shoji can take a lot of credit there. Not just the position of the pass, but the tempo. It just sat perfectly. Przezyski. This has the makings of a legendary tie between these two. Gianelli, we've already seen Gianelli force his hand from behind the service line this evening. 14 awards so far in his career, just 26 years old. Passes again good from Zaxa, and I think that's the thing that's impressed me the most over the last few games is that their pass is so stable. They're very hard to break down. Yes, you won't break them, or yes, you will break them for the odd point. But Smith is back in the game over the left shoulder. Marcin Janusz, best setter in the Polish league last year. Gianelli does well to hang on to that one. Janusz has a little look through the net. He goes to his main man, Kazmarek, on the right side. Opportunity. Smith is there in time. And because of Smith's good work, it opens up the one-on-one -on, -one on the outside for Slivka. Everything is starting to run incredibly nice now for Zaxa. Strong defense from Bednoz. 
Shoji with the free ball, but because Smith was so dangerous or has been so dangerous, the middle has to commit with the block. Slivka with the left, perfect. Well, a middle for a middle, Flavio. Won the World Cup with Brazil in 2019. Won the VNL in 2021. He knows these big moments very well. Shoji perfect from the libero. But this time Zaxa can't convert. Some pass to the left-hand side. The service pressure is certainly there here from Zmenyuk, but it's really well cushioned. Relaxed shoulders. Kazmarek asking for the ball higher as well. Something that was asked from Slivka, but Semenyuk. Big serving again from Semenyuk. Playing a leading role in trying to get Perugia back into this one. Block out from Slivka on the right side of this rotation. Anish operating a very quick game, beating the block for speed and then wiping off the hands that can't quite penetrate. Slivka, six blocks last week, which is a sensational stat for him, but Leon also very much back on point. When you've got Leon, it gives Gianelli such an outlet in every situation. If the ball is a little bit off the net, you can throw it to him, whether there's one, two, three blockers up, he'll be a threat. As will Bednorz, his performances the last couple of weeks on another level from him once more. Just diving into the angle, that was where his approach line and his power was leading him. But he can stay high just like Leon can. Tip this time from Leon. Coming over on two, Bednorz firing up the furnace. Zaxa lead by three here in the opening set. And if they do win this opening set, it is going to get even more difficult for Perugia. Great cover from Smith. Puts the ball on an absolute plate. Richlicki getting out the way proves to be the wrong decision. Semenyuk looking very comfortable as uh, Richlicki leaves for Herrera. Same substitution as we saw last week at a similar time. Best opposite and best server in France last year. Needs to find some gold, but unfortunately, Anastasi's uh, ploy doesn't quite pay off this time. If Zax will win this opening set, Perugia need to win four in a row. Out of system, pass from Leon. It's back to him, of course, it's back. What a rip from Leon. And that is just one of the many special things about this man. Out of system, stays high over the top of the block. Janusz pressing in, but Leon is special. Bartosz Bednos. Already be back behind the service line on the golden run earlier on in this set. Would love to find another one. Semenyuk shot down. 
good cover. Gianelli works the ball to Herrera. He's put straight down, but it's block out. Expect to see some fire from this man here. Scored 21 points in the World Championships against Italy. Just crushes off of Slivka. Different picture for Slivka. Has to adapt his line for the left-hander. Now there's a different look for him. Plotnitsky, best server in this competition. Needs to keep the pressure on here. Oh, net band ace. Maybe that's uh, going to turn it. In Perugia's favour. Plotnitsky needed something special and he's found it with a little bit of luck off the net band. Timeout, Zaxa. Fairly calm. Samuel Vu, isn't he, out there? And he'll be hoping that that projects onto his team. Trying to slow down Plodnitsky. Twenty-five year old. Best server in the World Championships with 18 aces goes to Slivka. Big point coming up. There is a dig. Back to the outside. Smenyuk with the tip over the top. Brilliant work off the ball from Slivka. Doesn't get the ball back. Kazmarek shot down. We are tied once again. Flavio back in the mix. Smenyuk with a good continuation play. And in turn there, he took Slivka out of the offense with the play forced to go to the right side. Slivka had too much work to do. Two blockers up in plenty of time. Good reading of the game from Flavio. Plotnitsky serves out the back. Hold on to your hats. We have a challenge. I'm very interested to see this one for a second time. Well, the ball certainly out Stasi smiles maybe some gamemanship to try and just slow down Zax's momentum Jiski's had a wonderful competition played for Gdansk Kemerovo with uh, Semelevo who's now coach who brought him to Zaxa Big serve at 23-22. This is a massive opportunity for Zaxa to take a set point. Slivka, three up in the block. It's a huge moment for Gianelli to bring Perugia back to 23 all. Passing perfection from Plotnitsky. But there were three up. Taking everything away from Slivka and have a look at the face of Flavio. He believes Semenyuk staying cool and composed. Where does this ball go now? Slivka, no. On the pipe to Bednorz. The tempo, fast but not frantic. 
quick enough to rush its way past or through the block of Flavio. Smith doing a great job of taking Flavio away. Bednorz going off the middle on the way through. We're only in the first set and it feels like the tension is already unbearable here. thousand fans in here this evening Berlin with the record capacity this year with uh, almost 14,000 I'm sure we'll see Leon very soon again but it's set points to really take even more control of this tie Perugia are out of system when they needed to be in the most. They're going to have a swing for it here. Zaxa, a big opportunity, covering around their right side. Kazmarek, a chance on the counter. Herrera is shot down. Zaxa take the opening set of this one. And they are one set away from going to a third consecutive Champions League final. Big, high, gutsy swing from Kazmarek. And it's a substitution, Herrera stopped by guess who, David Smith. He has been perfect over these two legs so far. And something's going on down court side and I'm unsure quite what it is, but one of the substitutions from Zach's are quite animated down there, but there's a confirmation of the score. 25-23. Perugia need to win four straight to win this tie. They need to win three straight now to send us to a golden set. There are the stats. Three blocks apiece. The attacking has been the difference. Maybe the attacking has been the difference due to the better receiving from their passing unit. It's something that Zach's do so well is pass the ball consistently into good zones for Martin Janusz to run his game. Wow. Well, before this game, you would really feel that Perugia would have to win this first set to get it rolling in the right direction. But it's Zaxa that's taken it very, very tight, though. Perugia now need to win three in a row for a golden set. I mean, we saw something similar yesterday, didn't we? Then Holtbank Ankara started to come back in sets two and three against uh, Yashemski. They have nothing to lose now, Perugia. Be interesting to see 
what effect that has on their performance in terms of releasing the chains and maybe from the service line, Blonitsky is in. Blonitsky is in as well, back into the starting six. Blonitsky gets us underway. Big hammer of a serve, good lead from Shoji. Something's gonna have to go their way early on. They're gonna have to try and catch fire. Big play from David Smith at the back end of that first set, getting across on Herrera. Smith, serve, good passing. Okay, the middle's in from Flavio. Good from Gianelli. And the Brazilian serving from five to five. Tough ball to pass. Quite central. It's fast over the top. Leon playing tip cover. Smart choice from Zaxa to go on the tip there. Smart choice from Rich Lickie. On the right side, he goes with the tip as well. He's been shut down a couple of times from Bednorz already. Tries to get creative instead, and that pays dividends for him. Flavio again, looking to go five to five. It's a rocket. Perugia. Have the dream start to set number two. That man serving one of the main underlying reasons of why. Very well done from the passing unit. Good cover from Zach. So there's a net touch on the way through. Flavio's done a wild job of serving one to the sideline, one to the seam. And then one very, very short. Good hands from Leon. The damage was already done, though. Another one, five to five. It's a very good line that's uh, working till that moment. Bednorz finds a side out eventually for Zaxa. It's a good thing about that float serve, just the variation really upsetting the rhythm of Bednorz. Maybe that's one way that they can suppress him and put him under some pressure. The issue is, is that the consistency of Zaxa is commanding the whole way through. But Gianelli, as we saw in the last set, is starting or looking to use the middle really early on. Now he goes to Russo. He's hardly missed offensively in these two legs. Ruchlitsky. High toss jumper out the back. Slivka has been somebody who's so consistent, creative when he's got three blockers up against him. Bednorz has worked with him, making a dream team. Another crushing serve from Bednorz. Leon trying to hit his way out of the system as we see so often. That's a bump set to the inside, a little bit unorthodox, but well done from Slivka using his head again. Zaxa survived, but Gianelli with a quick bump to Leon. Shoji. What an absolute worldie of a defense from Eric Shoji. Another opportunity through Leon, third time, tipping over the top. Perugia, three point lead now. And Gianelli, good work to stand that ball up. Maybe it's a little bit inside for Leon, but it's a fast tip in front of six. Shoji left frustrated. Leonu has a history of serving big points in 
Champions League games, Kazmarek high off the hands. Smiles again for Zaksa and I think something that Samuel Veru has done incredibly well is he's got them very focused on every individual task. You hear him in the pre-match interview saying we're just going to focus on rally after rally after rally. And I personally think that adds a lot to their consistency. Very patient side, Zaksa, but... Plotnitsky in for Semenyuk. Brings a little bit of lefty heat on that left side. Shut down, Smith. It's excellent work from Flavio. It feels like that's the first time in two weeks that Smith's been stopped. And he's just quite cramped with his middle. It's a very good bit of work going into the angle. From that set, it didn't look like Smith could come back to the line. It's a good read from the Brazilian Block is back into the game. Maybe there's a net touch. No complaints from Gianelli and Co. And from that off the net situation, Slivka just trying to work off the hands. Very difficult for the left handed left sider when that ball is off the net. So after the front court receiver, Podnitsky was the target. Leon on the pipe is a fast one. Leon with the volley over. Chance to transition here for Zaxa. Fast play. Another block. And now they're starting to really come alive. Perugia. In the Palabaton. The fans starting to believe. And this is the issue with this fast play on the opposite. When the ball's not absolutely perfect. Or the blocker makes an early read to get out. There aren't too many angles apart from the cross court for Kazmarek to hit. Four point game, Gianelli with the serve. Serve to position one to Slivka. Slivka can get the ball back and just feast one through very quick with a fast arm. And Estasi is uh, complaining, I think, about the hand of uh, Slivka here. Forceful throw off the hands. Hybrid serve from Slivka into the net this time. Samoveri knows that his team are on the brink of something incredibly special. Lock out this time. That's a very good swing from Kazmarek, his feet have to be very quick and dynamic to get inside the ball there to keep the ball over his right shoulder. And then he just turns it very late off the outside hand of Leon. Talking about Samovu. Actually played for Zaxa in 2009-2010. Left Russia after winning the Olympic silver medal and winning one at Volleyball Nations League. Smith back serving aces. Something that is worth its weight in gold throughout this whole tie from David Smith. Another good jump serve from him. And another point for Zach. So there's no coincidence. There's absolutely no fluke that Zaks are incredibly dangerous. Not just aces when Smith is serving but when affecting the game making the other team out of rhythm, out of system bringing the block count up with him Smith this time short on Leon very good control in the serve from Smith and that brings the block 
David Smith is firing on all cylinders and he's pulling Zaxter with him. They're level now. Leon brought to the floor, takes him out the offense. Two blockers on the left side. Pajitski makes the block. Wonderful work from David Smith. 22 serves last week. He's at it again here. And Leon has now been shot down. Can you believe it? David Smith, four serves in a row, an ace, two blocks, and forcing an opposition error. Kazmarek gets one on Leon. And now what's the reaction of Perugia going to be like? Because you can see already that they're now deflated. And for a team who are undefeated during the domestic league before the playoffs, undefeated in the Champions League as well. They're seeing their season, all that good work, just melts in front of them. Game on game, not another block on Leon. Another block on Leon from Zaxa. Smith serving, Gianelli to the outside and it's a wall from Zaxa. Leon's looking at Gianelli, not so happy. And they look flat now, Perugia. Two down, Smith on an absolute roll. Finally, the ball's into a good zone, but it's another error. Two errors, three blocks, and an ace from David Smith at this stay behind the service line. It's not just game changing it's championship defining work from the american middle perugia are not happy with each other here All that work from the serve of Smith and good blocking from Zaxa. Leon to the inside, fast for Leon. And finally, they get off this uh, stinking rotation that could have cost them their Champions League campaign. Smith to the seam this time. Leon in the perfect slot to go through the seam. Sliding serve, Flavio back behind the service line. Maybe he can cause some mischief, but Bednorz, I think this has been the most impressive thing from Bartosz Bednorz the last eight days or so, is his ability just not to get into court, hitting two sharper angles. He just uses the height and the athleticism to go off the hands. Because Kazmarek. Not quite the net band ace. Russo, brilliant. Herrera bounces one to the line. Shoji says, okay, I'm pretty good back there, but there is no digging that one.
absolute missile. Right now with the serve. Fast play, Yanush linking with Bednorj once again. Yanush has been exemplary throughout this campaign as well. Speed, good decision making. for Bednoz. No challenge. Kalachi still in there trying to fire up the furnace, but no matter which way we look at this, it's going to be very difficult for Perugia. There is a challenge, sorry, ball in or out. That's exactly what Perugia need from their star man. High toss, jump serve. Pick that one out, Leon. Exactly when your team need it the most. That's one back though from Leon, although he's, uh, we're gonna have to wait a full set of rotations to see him again from the service line. The on the service target, as we've seen so often. Three up on the block this time against Plotnitsky. He's going to open up this one. What a touch. My word, everything that Zach's a touch turns into goal. But Leon... Now stop through the pipe. They are having a dream evening here in Perugia. And it's David Smith once again who takes position five away from Leon, And it's another crushing blow for Perugia. 17-14 down in a set they must win. And again, they're out of system. Zaxa have been better than Perugia in almost every element over these two legs. But passing certainly the main difference. And Astassi knows that the dream has almost drifted away from him and his side. Looking for a block touch. That has been given, sorry. And that could be the change that they desperately needed. My word. Great challenge at key time. Russo stepping on up here. Big serve onto the front court receiver. But this is what I mean from Zaxa. Yanish now goes to the pipe that we haven't seen. Yes, Bednorz is running really hot at this moment in time. But running the pipe, something we haven't seen for a while. Good variation. Smith is up perfectly timed, trying to take the middle. When he has been said it's been good, Shoji over the moon as well. But they just seem incredibly difficult to break down Zaxa with the pass you might get them for one or two but you don't get runs of points off of them like we've seen against Perugia and it's another one that goes out the back Herrera this time and Gianelli not quite linking this is exactly what I mean that we haven't seen from Zaxa is missing a side out at such a key time four point game once again 
Gianelli dumps on two. We haven't seen that one. Splits from Janusz. Gianelli can certainly play under pressure. He's one that really needs to step up and he's someone that has the serve to do it. Shoji, very good all day, but there's a block for Perugia. One back, Plotnitsky points to the floor. Him and Flavio doubling up. Shoji, disappointed for just dragging that off the net slightly, but it was a great pass from a difficult serve. And he's again going fast to Slivka. Great posture in the air from Plotnitsky to drop his hands in. Ploy to try and calm this mini storm of Gianelli. Bravery needed now by both teams. They go back to Slivka, not this time to the left side. Recycle the ball well. Good blocking from Perugia. This time it's short. Smith does well to smuggle it over. Width and speed for Gianelli. But that is maybe slightly inside. Slivka, Smith, teaming up, get in here, says Smith. The three-point game is open again. There is no line there for Blotnitsky. It would be very difficult for him to turn it away. And Smith is waiting in the wings from the middle. What a game he's had. What a game. Slivka looking to up the ante once more from the baseline sliding out will certainly be enough here and I mean should Zaxa win this set there's a lot of volleyball left in the next five to ten minutes be interesting to see what Perugia we get if this tie is over and buried showed you off the net this time Zaxa's pass maybe just shaken a little bit but this is exactly why Bednor just come into this team. Gets a big slap round the face from Slivka. Says, have that as a reward for your brilliant swing. But takes on the angle. Leon has the longest distance to travel. Been a machine, hasn't he? Absolute machine over these two legs. Leon passing off. He gets the ball back from Gianelli. Gianelli, well, was talking about how he didn't quite get the service last week and the rest of the team as well. And he hasn't quite got the service this week as often as Janusz. There's another break. Zaxa now. Well, the Prusia fans, very quiet. And look who's back behind the service line. Smith with the serve on Leon. It's tight. It's an overpass. Zaxa. The middles embrace. Smith from the service line once more. And can you remember a more influential performance from the service line than this from David Smith? Two will do it for Zaxa. Semenyuk into pass, but it's already too little, too late. One would feel Herrera scooped this to bring up. And it's so quiet as Zaxa have set and tie point. Bednorsch 
Slaps it into the angle once more. And it's the Zaxa fans in the top right side of the stand going absolutely crazy. David Smith serving on another planet this evening. They're going for a challenge, but it is uh, highly unlikely. That ball is absolutely in. Smith to send Zaxa to the Champions League final for a third successive time. There you go, they've done it. It will be an all Polish final for the first time in Champions League history. Zaxa are going for three in a row. The only two teams to have done that previously, Trentino and Zenit Kazan. But they'll have to do it against their old friends, Yashemski Wengel in Turin. What a performance over two legs. My word, they came, they saw, and they seriously conquered Perugia. David Smith. David Smith with a service game. It was just legendary. Bednorz, perfect as well. And now it's very difficult for Perugia because this game does not stop. Well, there's the confirmation. 25-23, 25-18. Zaxa have come to Perugia and done the business in the CV Champions League semi-final. There are the stats, 10 blocks apiece, sorry, 10 attacks apiece, six blocks, game changer. The reception for me has been the main difference. They kept, keep it so tight with the service pressure of Leon and the rest of the Perugia side. And they have served emphatically. Congratulations for the qualification. So, great proof, great team. What do we have to say again? Yes, yeah, it's just fantastic. And uh, now we have to refocus because game is not over. And give the opportunity to, to the guys that have played less to enjoy this moment here. And uh, I think first two sets, our great block and defense made the difference. And uh, still we need to keep staying together no matter what. Thank you. Thank you, coach, and congratulations. He will be over the moon. But what happens now, you ask? We play out the tie, of course which will be very difficult for Perugia playing at home. Zaxa will be over the moon and actually let's hear Coach, from Anastas. The comeback has failed, but what we can say to these guys? 
Well, you know, uh, it was difficult. Honestly, they was playing uh, much better than us in block and defense, and uh, we are not in the same line, and unfortunately, this is the sport, and we are out from the final. We know exactly. We are really upset. I look my guys. They are uh, totally upset. Now we have to be calm down, because Monday we have important match. That's the most important thing. Thank you, coach. Pleasure. Very nice reaction from Anastasi Semenyuk. We'll start. I mean, how is that man going to be feeling? Who knows? Will there be changes off the bench for Zaxa? Will we go to five this evening all the same? Who knows? I certainly don't. But what I do know is that we were treated to some very high level volleyball from Zaxa over the past two legs. They're passing sensational. And there are some changes for them. Sepin being one of them. Played uh, a Tverci sign from Lubin, but Slivica looks like he keeps his place. And now it's a balancing act for Coach. But they have some great players. Norbert Huber was excellent off the bench. With 12 points against Trent Way in that quarterfinal win. There's a confirmation. Let's see what happens now because the finalists have been confirmed. Ashemski, Wengel, who were victorious last night against Holtback Ankara, will play against Zaxa. Interim in May at Super Finals. And you just have to have the utmost of respect for Anastasi. His interview gave it very well. But also for these players coming back out, having just had their hearts broken, to have to play once again. Wojciech Zielinski. Best scorer in the Challenge Cup in 2012. Gets us underway. And I think all of the cheering that you can hear will be from the fans of Zaxa in the top right of your main screen where the away fans are based. Gregor Ropet coming in, the Slovenian international starting in front of Gianelli in this set. He's uh, no stranger to the big games either. Played against Italy, Euro Volley Finals in 2021. Also a start for Stefano Ngozi, the 37 year old middle blocker. Big play from Plonitsky on the right side. So there is uh, two changes. Well, that's just in the middle. For Zaxa. Very different looking lineup. Huber into the center, giving the ball really early. Tries to go over the left shoulder. Or well, out was the call. For a moment, thought that Zaxa had won that point. Plonitsky uh, now just unleashing from behind the service line. Plonitsky to go again. And very difficult for teams as uh, Huber, the middleman, is served. Big cross line. Strasevsky. Been here since uh, 2020. MVP of the opening game of Champions League. Played a lot without Bednorz in the team. Bednorz uh, came in and replaced Strasevsky. But following me, Kluth, who's two meters, 10 centimeters, brought into the middle, Megozi. As we just mentioned, the 37 year old middleman, lots of experience. The Mengozi serving. But Zaxa, with so many changes, 
and they've changed their entire side, none of which will really be in rhythm. So the issue with that is it might take them a while to even warm up and get into their stride. Perugia, on the other hand, will have more rhythm, but they will also be quite deflated after what's just happened to them. Good work through the middle. Rebrett bringing in uh, Sebastian Solek. Dual nationali nationality, sorry. Italian and uh, Argentinian, part of that bronze medal winning side that shocked the Olympic Games. Herrera now back to serve. Out back. Serving short. Back to the middle again. Rupert's come in and really started to run that middle well from two or three meters. Good work. First two steps are very quick. Pivots off the right, flips it into the middle. Semenyuk. I think I said last week a penny for his thoughts, so I would pay a lot more than a penny for his thoughts this evening now. There's a block as Perugia lead by three. Oh, hammer. Well, let's uh, talk about Wiltenberg off of the bench and flourishing to one Wiltenberg. Won the uh, Divisi in 2018, played for Tetra Macau and Cisterna playing in Italy. And that was a, a perfect play. It's showing how much depth that they really have on the bench reverse play, Herrera off the hands this time. Good setting from Rupert. Really flips it with good speed. Continuation play for Zaksa Trzewski. Doesn't make the error, but does make it fairly simple for Perugia. Sole again on a good run. Silver in the Champions League with Trentino in 2016, played with uh, Kalachi and Gianelli in that side. And again, Herrera's on the money. They're showing character here, Perugia. And again, the link with the second setup, Rupert, and that man there is fascinatingly good. Good speed, great hands from Robert. Three times a silver medalist in Euro Volley with Slovenia. Sole leaves the game. Best middle in that 2015 2016 run with Trentino. Wojciech Zielinski. Another big serve. Plotnitsky on one side. Good choice to go back to the opposite. He's really feeding him, isn't he? Three in a row for Herrera. And if you are just joining us, the big news is that Zaxa have won this tie, the two-leg tie, by winning this or leading this match 2-0. There's nothing that Perugia can do here to qualify Semenyuk playing for pride with uh, the rest of his team at the moment. Good passing, good tempo over the top, and on the pipe attack, to keep the ball out the middle is another thing. To still hit sidelines from that position is exemplary. Good dig. Semenyuk now on the backcourt, reverse pipe this time. 
Pret feeding the reverse sets, feeding the pipes. He's got Platnitsky on the left side as well. This time to the wing, and there's a block from Perugia. Stashevsky planted down, scored 18 points uh, against Trentino away in the pool game. They remember that they've played four times in the Champions League already in one season. That's uh, some effort. Big serving from Perugia. And there's a timeout from Tomas Zamalevu and Zaxa. As it's a real good opportunity for them to give the bench a run out here against quality opposition. They have big games coming up, the playoffs, and now a Champions League final on the horizon too. We are always taking step right, okay, in block. Come on. Look good off the bench for Brent, isn't he? Now serving with Perugia, a five point lead. Doesn't matter where they go at the moment. Mangosi and Perugia are all over everything at the net. Good footwork, good hands. Wiltenberg beaten with the cover. Gregor Ropet, 34 now, said. Such a great career with Slovenia, playing alongside the likes of uh, Tonczek Sterner, Kozumernik, Alan Sket, Tina Renaud, Clement Chabal, Smenyuk. Looking very solid at the moment as well. Good free ball pass, that reverse pipe is dangerous isn't it or press run of serve something that maybe Perugia could have done with in the previous set yes this is against the Zaxa second string as it stands good blocking one back though Stashevsky all over it strong outside hand from the outside man almost looks like there's a little bit of line for Herrera and it's taken by Strasevsky. Now good serving from Zaxa. Error. Plotnitsky. You have to feel for everyone on Perugia's side. This season for them just started immaculately, didn't it? Undefeated in the league, cruised through their group in the Champions League, and then as it's got tough, the losses have started coming. They now have to dust themselves off to play Milan in the playoffs at the weekend. Podnitsky, someone who just keeps improving in this game, but struggled over the past two legs of this tie. Had 15 points against Berlin in the quarterfinals. Plonitsky was outstanding. 18 points in the first leg at 61% efficiency, but was at 35% offensively last week. Herrera clubbing everything. Wow. Super wide and fast. The Cuban opposite he's also uh, the best opposite and server in Argentina in 2018-19 there's error creeping in as this one looks like it might just go to a fourth the 
Zaxa fans can and should be absolutely delighted. Service pressure back on from Zaxa though. Free ball coming in. It's a little bit off. Let's step in. Goes back to the opposite position. And that's a deadly swing from Kluth. Third season for Kluth at Zaxa. Played in Israel and was at Verona as well, but not part of the national team. Part of the last two Zaxa sides, though, Kluth that's won the Champions League. A big part of that squad having somebody 210 on that opposite who can come on and do a job is. Uh, Going to be good as Sonne finds the floor. Herrera. Big serve, ace for Herrera. And not all is lost as Perugia start to battle back. Kluth is a uh, good trap with the right foot. Let's have a listen to Thomas Samoveu. Nice, first moment is, is gone. Okay, let's start to focus on playing better volleyball. Guys, high ball, try to set them close to the net so we can play with the block or we can attack. Directions, okay. With Herrera, remember these balls, it's more diagonal, okay. Start to play better there, okay. Come on, guys, come on. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Still demanding extremely high standards. Some of you. And you can understand why. Needs all of the side throughout the season, but also such a capable bunch. Huber against Trentino was unstoppable coming in and he had to do the passing himself, so he did the hitting himself on the reverse. Free ball again. Maybe they might get another one back here. Good blocking. Sepian has to step in and take that one. High swing. Charles now Robred trying to spread the play to the outside. Smenik playing against his former side. Good play into the angle. Wow, that's some beautiful work. Zelinski. Well, Zaxa already beating Jaszemski, Wengel 3-0 in the Polish Cup back in February. Beat them at the weekend as well. Beat them to the league last year, but the year before that, Jaszemski had the better of Zaxa, who are just on this golden run, aren't they? Absolutely. Fantastic run, winning the last two Champions League finals at the expense of Trentino. But before that, the last Polish team, where well, you have to go way back for the last Polish team to make a medal at the Champions League. Skrabo hat off in 2010. Last time they took third. Strong good positioning from the libero. Sepian going fast to Zelinski once more. Just goes over the left shoulder and they're back to three here. <laughs> Zelinski proving to be uh, Pretty capable on the outside this evening. Plotnitsky takes Perugia one closer. It's 
a 3-1 win. Zaxa against Krzyzewski uh, at the weekend. They've gone on a five-game winning streak. Six games if they win this one this evening. Last time they lost was uh, to Trentino, but in the league was uh, against Scra. Sebian with a great set, but a little bit tight for Zielinski. He's getting settled on the ball. Sonny with the serve now. They very much are a dream team, Perugia, especially with the addition of uh, the MVP of the Champions League last year, Semenyuk. But it hasn't been for them this year either. They seem to make all the big transfers and get all the big players, but can't quite get the lorry over the line in the Champions League, can they? Zaxa, on the other hand, have this magic formula it doesn't matter who they lose or which coach goes where, they still seem to be in the big games. The big moments, Benghazi. Coming in and hitting over his left side. It's a great swing, Wiltenberg. Just a little bit late on that one. Zielinski now the service target. Sapien into the outside, good cover. Zielinski right in this game. Herrera. Thunderous once more. Great setting from Roper once more, just flips it back from where it came from, loses the blocker. In the meantime, as Sepian puts the ball on a plate in the middle, a good job from Zaxa thinking really well. Remember, second string out from Zaxa now, they've done their job. Already found their way to the Champions League final in Turin. For the first time ever, it will be an all Polish final against Jaszewski. Serve into the net this time brings up set point for Perugia. Last time there was uh, two teams from the same nation battling it out in the Champions League final. Two Russian sides, Lokomotiv Belgorod and Iskra Odin Sovo in 2004, one out the back from Plotnitsky. Last time there were two Italian teams, the 94 95 Treviso and Ravenna. Big back set, Herrera finds one through the block. We go to a fourth. Good work from Perugia. They have lost the war in this Champions League semi-final, but they refuse to give in the battle this evening as they beat Zaxa. <laughs> and their fans are sticking it out there with them. 25-19, good performance from Herrera, Robert and Co. Zaxa dropped their first set of the evening. Well, there are the stats. Two aces, more attacks and more blocks. Perceptions stay the same.
Well, I think that Tomas Salvaio is going to keep his bench out there for some extra reps. Perugia, 25-19. Zaxa have won this tie. Remember, that's the big news. They will be playing in their third straight Champions League final. Monumental evening for them. So now the teams have to battle out to finish the tie. Perugia winning set three very comfortably. Be interesting to see what happens now that Zaxa's bench have got warm, found a bit of rhythm, whether they can put some pressure on the opposition. There is no Leon out there, no Gianelli, no Rich Litsky. As we look to get underway once more, impressive off the bench, Gregor Ropret in the last set. Usually the second setter to the great Gianelli, but they played against each other in the last Euro Volley final. Euro Volley coming up again this year, the European Championships. You won't want to miss that. Poland, Italy, France. It's going to be a great occasion once more. Huber, first point for Zaxa. Good serve, fast to the line. Semenya. Deadly on that. Pipe, isn't he? Krasowski says, yeah, that one's in. Good pass from Plodnitsky as well, from the line ball. Managing to turn an angle off his arms into a good area. Opens up the game. The ball naturally wants to come back where it's uh, come from. Huber, two from two, the big middleman. 207 up there. 75% efficiency against Trentino away. Join from Scrap. Currently around 10th in plus Liga at the moment, Scrap. Three up in the block. And that's exactly what Tuomas Samoviro would want to see from his team. Three up. No splits, there are no seams open. Huber is huge, Cliff is huge. And then Strzeczewski does a fine job of getting across as well. Sure ball, but great tempo from Smenik. Good from Ropren not to go back to him after he's been pressured in the serve. Goes to the middle instead. And a little bit off the net with set. Krasewski. Maybe in a little bit too early, but... Set from Sabian way off Mangozi serving at 3-3 here. Super good run out for both coaches to have a look at their bench, but that's uh, Kluth in all of his glory there, isn't it? One on one. Two meters, 10 centimeters, very difficult to stop in that one on one situation. Serving is tough once more. Plotnitsky, Herrera high off the hands. Chance for Zaxa to play a little bit of defense wide to the line. And that's some fantastic play from Zaxa. Janinski popping up in position six. Ball into a perfect spot, really, and then that just turned to the line from Krzyzewski. 
past the outside hand of the block. Plotnitsky taking a lot of the court here. Herrera, brilliant from Plotnitsky. The two left-handers tipped up. Rob Fred again, just spreading the ball beautifully. Everything facing position forward. Hips and hands underneath it to Herrera. Who certainly, since this tie has been finished, has uh, run the show, hasn't he? You have to say once again how difficult it is for players and coaching staff alike. Knowing that your ultimate goal has uh, been taken from you to still be out here playing the level they are is uh, a big compliment to them and their professionalism as well. Semenyuk. The ball's tight. So he uses the hands. Pass out of system. Good serving from the former Zaxa man. Three up in the block, but somehow Trzeszewski found a way to still put the floor on the opposition floor. Great chase from Zeppin. There's a lot of work to be done there for the setter, and he goes off with Sole. Service pressure from Zaxa as they take an early lead. Plotnitsky turning with that left hand of his, but they work hard through the rally. Bruja with a chance. Great touch, but to no avail in the end for Zaxa. Sole. Big setting. Almost at position five. No wonder Seppin's getting a big pat on the back from Clute because uh, chasing him and having to get a lot of power on the ball to get it out, using the legs, hips underneath it to get the whip through his opposite man. That's just by two. Certainly improving this, this six's second set in this game. Plodinski with the width in rhythm will be a difficult nut to crack, that's for sure. Just off speed, trickle to the line. Zax's pass is starting to really improve off the net, sipping again. Fires it with the hands this time. A completely different set to the previous one out of system. Just fizzes it into Huber. Back to serve once more, who also played for the Ukraine national team on the beach, took a top four result in the European Championships in Bill BN. But then when Prusia come calling, it's very difficult at that time, back around 2015-16, to turn Prusia down. And he's been here ever since. Big blocking, big serving, Plodinsky once again right in the thick of it. It's actually been at Bruges since 2019. It was at Monza before that and Locomotive Kharkiv. Oh, well, challenge. We haven't seen a challenge for a while, have we? Plonitsky serving thunderously. The ball is uh, 
in. Brilliant serving from Lodinski. He serves this time short. Good mix up variation. And then the block is into the game due to the serving of Plotnitsky. He's serving his team towards a fifth set here. Bruja growing nicely. Jeski. Ready to try and pass. Podinski, the best server in this Champions League. Well, maybe not now. David Smith certainly put in a performance to be incredibly proud of. As good work, Zaxa. Fast arm off the blocker's hands. Kluth has certainly shown he doesn't need to uh, do anything else but stay high at two metres ten or so, does he? Could set this one, only one in it. Semenyuk on that left side. Hasn't been stopped, interestingly enough. Set a lot more of the ball this evening than... In the previous tie in Zaxa. two-point lead as uh, Perugia looked to try and take this to a fifth and final set. That one's going to go their way, although it was out, might be the net touch on the way through. We had another, Sebian had a little look across. Hoover back behind. service line passes exemplary middles Sonny is on time and you have to give them so much credit for how they're creating this evening but Zaxa also showing that their bench can play a very high level. Challenge key. He does everything to show that one going to the outside. This key comes through on the pipe off the Sole. Cornelius Banak. The Libero. You just cannot wait for what a spectacle it will be for Polish volleyball in Turin. Match up already in my head. You have four now on one side. He was uh, absolutely class in that first leg, especially against Halback Ankara. He's been brilliant the whole way through over the past. But ski. Free ball. Buffet, help yourself, Blonitsky. Timeout from Zaxa. They've already done the hard work. But they have to stay. We have to really be here. If it's here with good reception, it's one on one, no problem. Ready that we do also block throughout then these final the ball stages. We have three then they can celebrate. Then yes. they can let it all sink in. Plonitsky 
serving absolute bullets here in set four. Another ace for Semenyuk. We are charging towards a fifth at a rate of knots it. Litsky unsure, maybe there's a little bit of sweat that needs to be dealt with. So there's no Lucas Kazmarek on the best scorer of the Champions League. Replaced uh, by Kluth in the last two sets. Slivka outstanding this evening, as was uh, David Smith. I mean, it was a real team performance for those first two sets. Zach Stranevsky. Very strong through that left side. Just playing all those early games for the arrival of Bartosz Bednoz. Then uh, he's had to settle for more bench time, but Bednoz certainly given some depth. Good block, Herrera. Brilliant cover. Back out to Bonetti. Block again. My word, this is uh, some good work. Just focusing, keeping their mind on the task, Perugia, but eventually Zaxa get the rub of the green, but two great cover plays in situations. As we said before, Perugia really showing their professionalism here, having already lost the tie. Still doing the simple things incredibly well, keeping their own level high. Stashevsky. Netband ace, sacks are back to one. Timeout for Perugia. Stashevsky's gone back and fired his team back to within one. It's another race, Stashevsky looking to get this one done and dusted. It's a ripper to the sideline as well. Two aces in a row. Back to position five. Herrera, Cuban yes, International just stays high, hammers line. Good setting from Rob Brev once again. Ball played from the left hand sideline all the way over to the right. Another blistering serve. Stashevsky's had a fine run there as well. Nothing between the two. Oh, Herrera rocks straight back. Difficult one to control there. Bit of line left, aim towards the chest. Defense, keep the hands where you can see them at all times. Paul Wiltenberg just misses out on the fun. Great chance for Wiltenberg to come in and stake a claim. He's at 204, scored four against Severci at home, but uh. Solid out there this evening. Side out was just out. Zalinski this time. Two point game again for Perugia. There's still quite a lot of work to be done by both teams. Looks like there's a challenge here from Samuel Vero.
I think he thinks it was also in. Well, he's looking for the touch. No touch on the way through. That's confirmed. Rupert into the net this time. Step in. Semenya can very nicely done from Perugia. And it goes the on time through the gap in the block, just turning the ball towards five enough to beat the centralized blocker. Gondetsky. Far and wide. I think that's three missed serves in a row from uh, Perugia. Another missed serve this time from Zaxa and Zelinski. The fans making all the noise once more from Zaxa. They travelled almost 1,500 kilometres here for this game and they've been incredibly well rewarded. The team have certainly done their job. Big side out play. Kluth gets it back to one. Axa wanting to get this done and dusted. Not but Huber, conserver of the ball. Next up behind the baseline. Good serve. Out of system play. Robert tries to bring in Herrera. He's shut down. Great blocking. Miltenberg in the thick of it. Zaxa draw level. Out of system. Good hands from the middleman. Good celebrations as well. Bruges' performance now going off the boil. Passes into a much better zone. Herrera again. Twice in a row. Good cover. Certainly isn't that far off the boil, isn't it? Chance for Zaxa to go up. Big defense. My word. Good rally this one. Another defense. Touched over Zaxa. No, it's not. Semenyuk will get the point, but both teams digging their heels well and truly in. Good rip that one from Kluth, but even better work defensively two times in a row. Can Herrera fire us to a fifth is the question. With a serve like that, he's certainly putting your position under pressure. Three up. Good positioning from Perugia. Good blocking, being stopped again. We're all square. Both teams and squads deserve plaudits for the exhibition of volleyball that they're putting on, even though the tie is over. Ace to position five. Zaxa take the lead for the first time in this set. Timeout from Anastasi. It's an absolute ripper of a serve from Klud. And the Polish fans can start to celebrate. Two points needed.
good timeout from Anastasi. Luthen Sasevsky certainly doing damage from the baseline in this set. Svenjic serving Bruges a great part, almost a little bit too tight. Happy days for Pornitsky. Serving from Semenyuk is solid. Roxaxa out of rhythm, earns the overpass, and with that earns set point for Perugia. Tender fight. Everybody ready to give a good second touch? We hit, we cover, okay. Let's turn this. Then we make block chains, okay. Semo goes there and you come here, okay. Semenyuk certainly will not be giving up or giving an inch in this tie. Look fairly emotional at the end of the second set. Samuel Vuru said, are you ready? And the answer is yes. The reception of Semenyuk's serve uh, is uh, sublime. Stajewski back to the service line. Interesting moments to we saw him light things up the last time he was there. Just another hammer. Lodinski the target. Herrera. He stopped but the ball is uh, out. Unfortunately he's had his fair share of struggles with the block Herrera as of late, but this time he gets through and Sole is serving. For a fifth. Out the back. A lot of miss serves in this set for Perugia. Wiltenberg still receiving whistles from the opposition fans. Good pass. Herrera shot straight down and now Zaxa have match point to wrap it all up. Again Herrera just trying to hammer to the line and he is shut down from Sepian. The setter well done sir. No cover from Perugia. But this time fast. And out the back, another error from Perugia. They think it's in. There might be a challenge here. Bednorge is on celebrating already. Well, Perugia, no, they can't win this one. But Zaxa will take a lot of heart from their second string. Maybe beating Bruja in a set. Block touch is the challenge that shows that Perugia are unwilling to let this one go. matter of waiting for confirmation or is there still another twist to this tale a fairy tale evening for this Zaxa side Tomas Samovero now the third coach after Nikola Gervic and after Georgi Kletu to lead this side to a Champions League final And there you have it. Zax have won away in Perugia. It's disappointment for Perugia. The damage was done at the end of the second, though. Zaxa go through to the Champions League final for the third time in succession. 
history has been made as it will be an all Polish final. They will take on Yashemski Wengel in Turin in six weeks or so time. A brilliant performance for them. You have to feel sorry for Perugia. They will have to settle for third place with Halkbank Ankara. There's the confirmation of the score. Three sets to one, 27-25 in the final set. But now the feelings will start to sink in for Perugia. Leon still no Champions League victory with Perugia after or with Bennett. They really have got a side full of superstars but they couldn't quite carry it to the final. David Smith celebrating. Of course, he is a run of seven serves in that second set was just nothing short of magic. They're a team of heroes, Zaxa. They function incredibly well together. And at the start of the evening, Samoveo was asking his team to focus on each and every point and task. It's a huge, huge performance. Their fans can be so proud of their team's performance. And I think the team can be so proud of their fans traveling almost 1,500 kilometers to share a moment and an occasion like this one. And for Perugia, they will have to dust themselves off for the weekend. Zaxa will be celebrating this evening. It's three losses in a row now for Perugia with that loss to Milano at the weekend. We wait to hear Van Court side in just a moment. But first, uh, the match stats. Attacks are the same, more blocks. The reception is a big one for me, especially in the two sets where Zaxa took the tie. Their reception was on the money. Their service pressure as well. Well, who are we going to hear from? Is the question courtside. pictures and memories that will last a lifetime Zaxa have to get to a mass Samoveo win don't they three in a row brilliant work Straight sets. David Smith's heroics will be remembered for a long, long time by Zaxa fans. But it was a true team effort. Their second six, taking the fourth set to win this tie 3 1, or the second leg of this tie 3 1. From uh, the setter, so, Martin Yannick. Congratulations. Great performance, great victory, and now the final. Yeah, thank you. It's something amazing to win against this kind of team, like like Perugia. We, we was able to, uh, we are able to to win two games. It's it's really really amazing for us. For sure, they were they were the favorite before these games, but we we did it, and we finish here. We just we just uh, something something unbe unbelievable. Uh, it's something amazing. So. Uh, good for us. We, now we have uh, very important games in the in the league. I hope we'll we'll reach also the final and then this super final in uh, in Turin. So we have everything to win it. Thank you and congratulations again. Thank you. Delighted and rightfully so. There you have it. Chemsky Wengel beat Halkbank yesterday and then over two legs or both games over two legs. Obviously, Zaxa the better side against Perugia. And they really were. You have to give them full credit last week in Poland. But to come here and win 3 1 is a brilliant, brilliant performance. Well, there you have it. 
Our finalists have been confirmed. It will be an all Polish final in Turin in May. We hope to see you there. Kensky Wengel and Zaksa Kadunia Korsley have made it all the way to the final two. Poland or a Polish team win the Champions League for a third time in a row.